Hermann Sudermann's play, Heimat, a play in four acts, delves into the nuanced conflict between personal ambition and familial duty, set against the backdrop of late 19th century German society. The protagonist, Magda, represents the modern woman, striving for independence and recognition in a world dominated by traditional values. The tension between her aspirations and her roots forms the crux of the narrative, providing a rich ground for exploring themes of identity, freedom, and societal expectations. Magda's return to her provincial home after achieving success as an opera singer in Berlin is a pivotal moment in the play. This homecoming is not a mere reunion but a confrontation with her past and the conservative values she had left behind. The stark contrast between her cosmopolitan life and the parochial mindset of her hometown highlights the cultural and ideological rift that Magda must navigate. Her father, Colonel Leopold, embodies the rigid patriarchal authority and the societal norms that Magda has outgrown. His inability to accept Magda's choices and his insistence on traditional values underscore the generational and ideological conflicts at the heart of the play. Suderman uses this familial discord to comment on the broader societal issues of the time. Magda's struggle for autonomy and her father's resistance to her independence reflect the broader tension between modernity and tradition in late 19th century Germany. The play critiques the oppressive nature of societal expectations and the limitations they impose on individual freedom, particularly for women. Magda's success in the public sphere is contrasted with her lack of acceptance in the private sphere of her family, highlighting the hypocrisy and the double standards of the society. The character of Magda is complex and multifaceted, embodying the struggle of a woman seeking to define herself outside the confines of her prescribed role. Her ambition and talent have propelled her to success, yet her return home reveals the emotional and psychological toll of her estrangement from her roots. Suderman portrays her not just as a symbol of the new woman but as a deeply human character, grappling with loneliness and the yearning for acceptance and understanding. Her interactions with her father and the other townspeople expose the deep-seated prejudices and the resistance to change that pervade the society. Colonel Leopold's character is equally significant, representing the older generation's adherence to tradition and their inability to comprehend the changing social dynamics. His authority and moral rigidity are challenged by Magda's defiance, leading to a poignant exploration of the limits of parental control and the right to individual self-determination. The colonel's ultimate realization of his daughter's strength and the begrudging respect he affords her success serve as a subtle critique of the patriarchal system, suggesting the potential for change and reconciliation. Suderman's use of dialogue and setting further enhances the thematic depth of the play. The provincial setting, with its claustrophobic atmosphere, contrasts sharply with the freedom and expansiveness of Magda's life in Berlin, symbolizing the broader conflict between constraint and liberation. The dialogues are laden with subtext, revealing the characters' inner conflicts and societal pressures. The play's structure, moving from confrontation to a tentative reconciliation, mirrors the journey of the characters towards mutual understanding and acceptance. In Heimat, a play in four acts, Suderman masterfully blends personal drama with social commentary, creating a poignant and thought-provoking narrative. Through Magda's journey, he explores the complexities of identity, the challenges of reconciling personal ambitions with familial expectations, and the struggle for individual freedom in a conservative society. The play remains a powerful reflection on the enduring conflicts between tradition and modernity, and the quest for self-fulfillment in the face of societal constraints.